Yes, the 18th of December. So, uh, I'm going to go straight into um, the subsidies for farms, specifically in the UK, um, as um, Brexit, from what the government is saying, will introduce a new system of well they're not going to name it subsidies anymore so what they're going to be calling well they're not even said it's not even saying what it's going to be called so uh, apparently it will still be actually subsidies seeing as they've not put a name to it the trans uh, there's under the the uk is got um has unveiled post-Brexit plan to phase out the current farm subsidies. They're saying that the transition will last seven years with the first reduction in usual payments from 2021. It's not quite as straightforward as it looks. It's, and it, it, all it is, all they, it looks like they are doing is they are removing um, the name subsidies because they are promising to continue to make payments to farmers which is exactly the same as subsidies the, it's, the farmers are complaining because of there will be reductions in some monies that they will be getting paid but that is part of the way that this that the our present government works anyway um they always try to cut things from anywhere that they can britain has pledged to bring in a new scheme to support landowners based on whether their land is to is used to promote or and protect the environment to replace the basic payment scheme under the eu agricultural policy George Eustace is to set out more detail. Uh, well, yeah, still more detail to come from it in the first place, yeah. Uh, so, uh, the transition, they say, last seven years. The, the first reduction of payments in 2021, the government has insisted the same budget will be available for farmers throughout the current parliament although the full operation of the regime will be worked out during the first years. So, so they're saying that they're removing subsidies, which is an absolute lie. <laughs> they're still... It, it's, it's there in black and white. They're, they're removing subsidies, but going the budget will be of the same budget that the subsidies provide will be available for farmers throughout the current parliament. In a speech to farmers and environment groups, he says farmers should access public cash to help their businesses become more productive and sustainable whilst taking steps to improve the environment and animal welfare and deliver climate change outcomes on the land they manage this is rather rather amusing <laughs> uh, i'm pretty sure that farmers are very unhappy with this situation uh, even though they're going to still get actual money for the use of their land uh, they <laughs> the Will, they will award cash for environmental efforts such as improved soil health, creating natural flood barriers and species management, and restoring landscapes such as woodland and peatland. All good, all nice. No mention of uh, the animals, but the farmers come, come to mention animals a little bit further in uh, this article. Farmers were worried that the new regime would not encourage increased production of farmed goods, but the government said the phasing out of the old system would free up new cash to boost productivity. 
Minute Batters, the president of the National Farmers Union, welcomed the pledge about productivity, but said it was high risk to phase out existing support without a complete replacement scheme in place. These payments have been a lifeline for many farmers, especially when prices of growing conditions have been volatile and will, will be very difficult to replace in the first four years of this transition, she said. <laughs> the NFU argues livestock farmers will have lost up to 80% of their income by 2024 under the current plans and has pressed the government for more information about how the new scheme will replace the lost income. Now this is the thing with this this government. They take away money and all they do is that they wait until the time that money is needed to keep things even and then they will make it appear. Uh, they do it this way so that there can't be predictions made and for future um well, this this is actually this is actually a hiding place for agriculture that they are actually introducing because of the taking away. They're saying they're taking away subsidies when they're not because they're going to be replaced with something else. They are not just going to let farms disappear. That's not going to happen. Not with the, not with any government. <clears throat> they need to disappear certainly the animal farms there's no need for any any of the animal farms to exist at all it would be good if the government did cause the situation whereby those livestock farms I'm oh, sorry animal farms uh had to sort of rely on whatever money they make from the animals because by doing so the actual amount of animals that would be in circulation would reduce dramatically because they would not be affordable to be actually produce the market prices that if yeah i mean look at the look at the total that they've said here the the nfu arguing that they will have lost 80 percent of their income now if they've lost 80 percent of their income then christ that's by by 2024 if they lose 80 percent of their income then that means that their actual production of animals only makes 20%. <laughs> so, so that's, yeah, so, right, 80%, so that's a... Whew, so that means that any, any piece of, any animal, or whatever animal, wherever it comes from, would be at least five times more expensive than it is now if they didn't actually receive the subsidy payments <laughs> yeah yeah who's going to buy them then almost no one but the rich good not good enough because of it it has to end for everybody everybody has to end consuming animals But we know we know that uh, the government will not allow this situation to happen. They will actually replace this money for these industry for this the livestock the animals animal farming industry. This is uh, it's outrageous, outrageous. But it does it does actually show. Uh, where <laughs> ah that's amazing that's amazing if 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 the actual way the government is working it is to take away 80 percent 
of the NFU income, then how much more are they still paying them to so that they would even still exist? Because of it's just incredible. That's that is massive amount of tax out that we could we could have reduced from us from the people having to pay by not propping up this absolutely disgusting industry very interesting very very interesting Yeah, I see only a little bit of information, and that's why, that's why what they the way that the government works is that they've given this idea of a of the next four years sort of reducing payments and everything like that, but not saying what they're going to replace with because they do not want people to know that there's actually any subsidy still there they're, they're saying <laughs> they're trying to get around the fact that um, <laughs> they're still going to pay the same basically around about the same amount that the EU would have been paying to the farmers <laughs> yeah joking joke 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 the only way that it that would be a good thing, uh, the actual reductions working and whatever is, is if they did actually make those reductions and forced animal farmers off the land that they occupy, which they should do. I'll leave it at that for this little video because that's quite a, a very concise little piece around subsidies. Hmm bit more for to come on it I will speak to you again about it in the near future cheers have a good time if I don't speak to you before Christmas Merry Christmas but I probably will <laughs>